Hey, what's going on? So it knows best here. And today I'm going to be showing you two different ways that you can actually customize your dock and make it personalized for you um, in Mac OS X Leopard on your Mac. So the first program I'm using is called Dock Spaces. Now, this um, program allows you to change a lot of the basic core functionalities of the dock, like the position on the screen and all that. But the main thing that this program brings to you is the, uh, the ability to actually assign a specific dock to a specific space. Now, if you don't know what a space is, spaces is the um, the functionality in Mac OS X Leopard that allows you to have multiple virtual desktops. So I'll go ahead and show you. Once you launch Dock Spaces here, it's going to be in your menu bar. So here you see my two different um, dock settings that I have set up. You can have more than two. But I just have two. I have my one is just my default dock, which is just everything down here. It's pretty much everything I use. And then I have one of just my editing, just for my video editing. So when I go ahead and click on this, or I just hit um, Command 1, and now that will take me to my um, editing dock. So now you see here, it's a 2D dock. I had it come up just 2D, and it just has, you know, iMovie, iMovie HD, Live Type, Final Cut Express, Screen Flow, just my video editing, and I don't know why iPhoto is there. Let me take that off. Um, just, but just my video editing uh, programs that I use. So it's a lot less cluttered, a lot easier to get what you're looking for when you're doing a specific task. But let me bring back open the preferences here. And so now you can see you have, I'll zoom in a little bit here. You can choose to turn on and off the bouncing icons, lock all the contents of your dock, uh, have your icons even be transparent. And you can automatically hide and show the dock, which you can find all most of these different things in your system preferences, but it's a lot easier to have it all in one application. But also now you can change the dock style. Like I had my dock go from 2D to 3D. I can change that here just by clicking the button. And now my dock is 3D. And then also you can choose the alignment of it, which let me go to my uh let me go to my default dock so you can see this a little bit better. And all right, so there it is. Now you can choose the alignment of the dock. Say you have a program that has a lot of buttons on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can choose it just to go to the left hand side of the screen here. And it's, boom, there it is. So you have some room to work around over here to the right, but you can still access, um, access your dock here. And so now you can also change the position of it on your screen. You can have it go to the left side of the screen. So it'll be going horizontal like so. And um, so yeah, you can go vice versa, left and right. So that's it's pretty nice to have that in here in the application, which you can also, you can already do that, but like I said, it's a lot better to have it all in one application. And this is where, this is the portion where you actually, again, you assign each dock, whatever dock you want to a specific space. So I have my default here going to space one. I can easily have it go to editing. Um, then I have my, my space two editing. And like I said, I can change it to default. So there you have it. So that's Doc Spaces free program. Go download it. Go check it out. Uh, it definitely comes in handy if you definitely do a lot of things that you're multitasking in. All right. And now the second program I'm talking about is called Doc Doctor. Now this program allows you to change a lot of the outward appearance of your doc. So you can again, you can have it go to the 3D or the 2D doc. You can also choose to have your icons transparent. Uh, this also gives you the option to disable your dashboard, which the dashboard does use up, you know, some system resources. So if you're on an older machine, uh, disabling your dashboard definitely comes in handy. Um, but let's get to the dock. Now, the dock skins. So a lot of people ask me how I got a black dock here. Um, well, I use this program right here. So you can click and just click on which one you want, which color that you want, and it'll change your dock to it. And so also this has the option to apply a custom dock. So you can go to their website where people made their own different docs and you can download them and all you have to do is just drag them and drop them here and they'll change your doc to wherever that is. Um, and also this has doc spacers which allows you to say I want to add a space to the left here of this little divider here. I can go ahead and do that. That's for your password because it's taking some um, system administrator here. But anyway, um, all right, so I add a, a space here to the left uh, this space here so you can add another program there or you can do something or whatever you want to do with that, that empty space here but if you don't want it anymore just click on it and drag it out of there all right you can also add a recent item stack using this program 
And that, allow, that shows you a lot of the have the ability to see all your recent applications that you use just by clicking that one uh, little folder there. So that's nice. Uh, but anyway, that's been two different ways you can actually customize your doc. So this, I think this answers a few questions that some people have been sending me here. Uh, but if you like what you see, go ahead and check them out. You can download them from apple.com. They're free downloads, or you can just do a Google search for them. All right, but this is so and Soldier Knows Best here. This has been... All right, but this has been Soldier Knows Best here. I can't even talk today. Uh, but if you like what you see, go ahead and check out my channel. Subscribe to my channel. I do videos about this all the time over some Mac tutorials, new iPhone applications, anything going on in the world of technology I talk about there. And so once you subscribe, like I said, you automatically enter one of my giveaways. And the rest of y'all, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.